It's just a shame that we have to have that many overdose deaths to uh, bring attention to this. Drug overdose deaths have spiked in Sussex County by 175 percent. State police report four fatal overdoses in December, but 11 in January. Police, the state medical examiner, and the county prosecutor have issued a joint overdose alert. What do you want people to do? want people to be aware that there's a danger out there. In a statement, state police say the goal is to provide life-saving information to those battling substance abuse and their loved ones so that they better understand the drug environment. They urge friends and loved ones to recognize the signs and symptoms of an overdose, shallow or no breathing, slow or no heartbeat, non-responsive, limp body, choking or gurgling, pale and clammy skin, blue or gray lips, and pinpoint pupils. They recommend performing rescue breathing or administering naloxone to reverse the overdose and calling 911. Sussex law enforcers and EMS crews say they used Narcan 50 percent more times in January than they did in December. The same period, overdose deaths spiked. I want to say too much about one month, and it could be an anomaly with the incredible increase that we had, but we want the public to be aware of it. I think what it says is that the drugs that are being, being put out into the community are much more dangerous. State police report their lab and independent labs are analyzing greater amounts of heroin with the highly potent fentanyl. You know, with the work that we do, it's not always surprising because overdose, we all know that uh, the heroin is so much stronger. We know that fentanyl is in a lot of the heroin. So it's really not a surprise, you know, when people do overdose. Becky Carlson is the executive director of the Center for Prevention and Counseling in Sussex County. It offers treatment and promotes and conducts Narcan training classes. There's no shame in this. Um, you know, addiction is an illness, and we all need to recognize that. Right now, we want to save people. New Jersey has a law to prosecute those who sell drugs that kill. It is a um, somewhat difficult crime to prove, um, to show that the actual drug that we know the person ingested was the cause of the death, as opposed to a, a multi-type of uh, substances that, that may have been taken that have nothing to do with the, the drug that they purchased. So that's one thing we're doing, but we definitely, in every case that we have an overdose death, our major crimes unit looks through those to see if we can do a strict liability death prosecution. The overdose spike here will bring attention once again to substance use disorders, kind of another wake-up call. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not a wake-up call that I would prefer to be able to use. I'd like to be able to use a wake-up call that we are completely defeating this problem. But we have to allow people to know, and people to know that fentanyl is being used, you know, with reckless abandon by those that are creating these drugs. In Sussex County, Michael Hill, NJTV News. Thank you.